Well, here I am at camp. Uh, not much. Uh, camping with my lawnmower. Pretty much. He, uh, got a, uh, cot tent on top of my trailer. And, uh, pull in with my lawnmower. I got my chair, my lantern, and of course I got my vehicle. Doing some car camping. Got my continuous fire, because I didn't know how the firewood was going to be out here. Uh, it's a lot of it, but it's under straw, a lot of straw. I'm going to take and do a lot more to it. I got it where I can come in, turn around easily now. Got the bat way even more there. Cleared some out that way. Still got a lot of this here to go. As that sticks out. Okay, you see down there that all that there has got to go. I'll run that over tomorrow. But like I say, a lot of this was just like that over here. And now it's all straightened out. It gets dark out here at night. And man, this is a scary little road through the woods. They say it gets dark down here. That's why I wanted to get a lot of this here cleared out before dark. I can take and set my tent up, get my lantern up, get situated with the fire, and make sure I got gas for the lawnmower in case I need it. And of course my vehicle, you know, if I need to do something else or whatever. Yeah, we see how it goes. It's supposed to be down to freezing tonight. And uh, we'll see how this does. Uh, I know the tent does fine. Man, that thing is bomb proof right there. You can't get no better than that for winter camping. It's got a cover that goes over it that totally encases it. So it's a double air uh, tent. So you can't beat that for the winter. And ain't no storm going to take it down either. It'd have to be one of these trees or something. Which I don't see anything on them that should be dropping. I don't think the wind's going to pick up that much tonight. So, yeah, we'll get back and see what happens.